Hi, this is Tiffany here from the Art Lady's Home, and I want to show you a little mistake that I did. And hopefully this mistake will help prevent you from making um, this poor choice that I did that was non-refundable. Well, my son and I were making this video gaming room out here in our sunroom, and we decided to purchase a really comfy big fluffy reclining sofa set and I this set actually comes with three uh, recliners wow we were excited and then it was we were able to modulate it so that and organize it so that it could be actually a laying couch as well so we were pretty excited about cushy comfy movie nights but this is what I did not know with recliners you need to make sure that when the recliner is opened, and I didn't sit in it in the store, I just had my son recline in it, and he said it was nice. Now this is a month and a half after we purchased it. And actually, by two weeks I said something's up. So, I peeked inside, and actually you can see when I have it opened and reclined, okay, you can see there is a huge gap when you purchase recliners, make sure that when it is opened, there is no tight, there is no huge gap, okay? A puppy could fall through here, okay? And when you sit on it, your pressure, now this one we have never sat on. When you sit on it, your pressure comes down and you are hitting this. Now, look carefully that is actually a piece of wood and this wood is not padded so that's exactly what your back is feeling right there look at this is barely any pressure it's actually not much stuffing in this either so when you're purchasing a recliner make sure that this gap when it is opened is very tight now on some recliner sofas that I've seen there is no gap here this is actually attached the recliner sofa now I realize that they need to have this separate and this and the bottom separate so that they can deliver it but some of them come together some of them have a real tight squeeze right here I can't even get my hand through it it's so tight that's what it should be you also want to look for really tight um, cushioning in here not just soft a few little pieces of polyester you want this to be real tight and hard this is what's giving your back support not the board because that doesn't feel good on your back so my huge mistake now some of them even have this wood look at that green you can see it. it's beautiful wood too bad it wasn't a dining room furniture wood on couches is not feeling that great on your back but some of them actually have great padding on the wood. And then this comes down pretty tight. So just in case you're, you're near the wood, it's still padded. Great idea. It's too bad that this company and the salesperson didn't let me know this when I asked. I asked, how was this sofa? But you know what? It is my mistake. And I take full responsibility for it. But they should have at least said if I was a salesperson and I had four four couches we could have picked I didn't care which one I let it up let, let left it up to my son and I said which one which one and we went for looks and we went for accessories this is electric they had some drink holders um, on the other side so we chose and he chose this one this was great and we were excited but the salesman, we had four that we were opting. The sh salesman should have known, you know, he's sitting there all day long on these couches and he knows this brand. I don't even know what this brand is. There is no brand. And see, that's my mistake, stupid me. Uh, but I, I should have opted for the main brand. I've had a Broy Hill for 15 years and you sit on that thing and there's nothing wrong with it. The couches don't even squish down. With this company, I can, First of all, you look up online. That was my big mistake, too. And, you know, thousands of complaints. But, and this wasn't even uh, one of those, well, I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I'm not even going to say whose company it was. But um, 
it wasn't a rooms to go for that. I upgraded, you know, from rooms to go. But this stuff, all these couches are made so cheap nowadays, and it shouldn't be for two. This the regular price was two grand, and it should not have been. I mean, barely any stuffing in here. Come on. They even have a guy that works full time coming out and doing the stuffing part, and that's what he's going to do today. So I'll let you know how they resolve it, but make sure that it has a lot of stuffing and good support in it you really have to inspect your couches nowadays they are making these things so cheap just for profit and the sales guy should have said yeah the, this one that you looked at because i told them all my models and we discussed it we were in there for a while i came back for two days he should have said you know what this one that you're thinking about i would definitely go with that one because that one has more support that one has padding on the inside i mean he should have known this this is his living he does this for a living and and he was an older man he was and i'm sure he's been working there for a long time when we went back to complain and meet to inspect other recliners and find all of this information out uh you know he should have said that to them but i think this was their signature brand so i think they want to try and push that i think this is what they make their most money on but you know you come in there and you you ask them for honest opinions and and they tell you you know i would say First of all, if I was a furniture person, I wouldn't even carry something like this. The buyer, the buyer should be fired uh, because it's the buyer's fault. They should inspect this and put quality merchandise in their stores, you know, and this is just absolutely ridiculous. But anyways, I hope that you have learned something from this and do not make this huge mistake. Unfortunately, when you purchase big things like this, this these couches, some of these stores have zero return policies. Once you sign off that it is in your home and it's delivered to your satisfaction, you don't have any recourse. And it's your sofa for life, you know. I didn't I haven't I didn't even make a payment and I still and that's when I noticed it was a there was that board there. So it's pretty sad, but I'm just trying not to stress too much over it. Uh if you help me, uh make this video go what is it called viral make this video go viral maybe i can get some recourse on my uh on my at least get paid from youtube on this and help me record get recourse on this but um but share it with friends and just it's just something to let everybody know if you're making a sofa purchase and you know we don't make sofa purchases all the time you know my broil was 15 years ago and and the only reason I purchased another sofa is because I decided to do my sunroom. So uh, I hope that you've learned something and uh, feel a little sorry for me and pass it on to your friends.